Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a great tutorial for you guys. We're going to be doing my girl Victoria's hair. You guys have seen her a million times before. She used to assist for me back in the day about a year or two ago and she's always down to do her hair. She comes every two to three months and today we're going to do something a little bit different than her normal but keeping it in the same tone range. Now usually what happens when I do her hair is we do a tightly packed baby light. Every other time we'll do a regular highlight. We always add a low light and she usually does permanent on her root for her gray coverage. She only has a sprinkle here and there but she likes to do that on her own at home. So I never have to do it when she's here. So we always have her doing that. I told her she used to use a 6NN. I believe it was Joyco Lumashine or 6N and it was way too warm. So I told her to start using 6NA because she doesn't have that much gray. Um, and it worked. It kept it a lot cooler. But today it's still a little warm, but it's a lot cooler than it used to be. So with that being said, we are doing something fun and different. We are going to give her a low maintenance lived in look and switch things up a little bit from our normal, you know, regular highlights. We want to do more of a rooted look but keep some of the pieces up higher at the same time by doing a paint between that will also help bring that rooted look in there as well. We're still going to shadow her. We always do like a more prominent shadow on her. So by doing a paint between along with low lights will help tremendously. Also, we will be doing one highlight to one low light and we will be doing a full highlight low light. Every moment tonight, they lend me to you. Every single time. Things happen naturally Like it used to be so today I am, like I said, doing one low light to one highlight, alternating one to one, and I am doing a regular highlight stitch. This is what I call my regular highlight stitch when I want more dimension. I don't do anything chunkier. Um, this is the biggest chunk I'll go. <laughs> As you guys know, baby lights and natural lived in, beautiful growing out of the head looks are my style, bright blondes. Um, I've been trying the lived in looks and I do like them and I'm not opposed to them at all. I was a little skeptical when it came to it in the beginning because I'm like the total opposite. All my clients love those beautiful bright looks with packed in foils. So I have to learn not to overfoil sometimes when it comes to lived in looks. I do have a couple videos coming up that I shot this week. If you guys hear any rain or anything hitting the window or any weird noises, I'm literally in the parking lot at my salon. It's 9 o'clock and I just finished. It's Monday night. Sorry I have not been up to par lately, but I will be whipping video after video after video out. New microphone, new brand new laptop, MacBook Pro 2021 or 22, whatever it is. I'm obsessed with it, so I will be whipping out a lot of videos. So I am using 20 volume on most of the hair, but if the ends are a little bit lighter from the last time we bleached, then I'm using 7 volume. Both bowls have a 16th ounce of Olaplex as always. And then my low light is 5N, 6NB, mostly 5N, just a little dribble of 6NB. When filling, you do not need to add much warmth. Remember that, and I want it to be mostly come off like a cooler neutral. And that's why I always tend to use mostly neutral when it comes to low lights. Very rare you'll see me do just straight warmth and that's only if the client requests it or really like it. So all around the hairline, I did do baby lights. I didn't record that part. You guys see me do that a million times. When I am doing a lived in look or a thicker stitch like this, I still do tightly packed baby lights around the entire hairline. You will never see me do a thicker stitch in the hairline area. To me, it doesn't look right. If you do a thicker stitch, it looks like spaces are missing, looks like dark spots. It's just better to do baby lights. So even if somebody wants a thicker stitch, a regular traditional highlight, low light, I will still do baby lights around the hairline. Also lately you'll notice I've been loving doing a lot of brickling in the back section. It definitely speeds up the process and I feel like it goes well with the round of the head. I used to strictly do two in the middle, two on the left, two on the right. I always like to do horizontal in the middle and a slight diagonal on the left and right to go with the round of the head. But lately I don't count how many. Sometimes I'll do four, sometimes I'll do three, sometimes I'll do two. It depends on how I'm feeling in that moment and what the hair needs. 
I used to have a hard time doing low lights and highlights with the brick lay because you can never do a uniform with it. But as I said over the last course of my last few videos, I like to do it on uniform to make it go with the hair a little bit more realistic. And very rarely I will ever do it uniform anymore. I don't wanna go Once I complete all the foils around the entire head, I'm going to take Reckon Shades EQ with 10 volume, 5N, 5G, mostly 5N with a little bit of 5G, and I'm going to do a paint between in between every single foil and stagger it one to three inches. I let her process for approximately 45 minutes, then we moved on to the toning portion. For her root shadow, I am using 5N, 5NA. So now I'm going to go through, I'm going to do that 5N, 5NA. We used to do six levels on her. Like I said, if I have gold, well, I'll do like 4N, 6A, or I'll do 6N, 6NA with Joy Co. Lumashine um, Demi Liquids because they're more prominent colors. We always like to do a more prominent on her since I've been doing her hair three years now. But I'm out of both of them. So we did go with 5N, 5NA, a level darker with shades. And then I'm going to tone her with 9V, 9GI, 9NB, and get ready to see the final result. All right, guys, there you have it. Look how beautiful this color came out. This is inside the salon, terrible lighting, and we are obsessed. Like I said, we kept it her normal tone, her normal formula. We just added a lot of dimension and beautiful depth, and we are obsessed. I hope you guys like it as much as we did, and I hope you learned something. Please leave video ideas down below in the comment section. Let me know what you want to see, and make sure you subscribe and join the family. We're growing rapidly. I love you guys so much. I'll see you in the next one. As always, so long for now, guys.